Hello and welcome to Liberian TV. Now, this has been the situation in Liberia for a day now. Yes, since the heavy rainfall. So, we'll be going out there to ask Liberians what do they make of it? What are some of their recommendations they can give out that this is that will not occur again in the future? So, let's go out as we get on the street of Moravia to ask questions and to get people view. Don't forget to leave your comment in the comment section. Hello and welcome to the Librarian TV Network. We are actually in a rainy city and there is a lot of floor everywhere. Even a day rain have made some people have been displaced. What do you make of it? What do you think is the cause? And what recommendation you can give to the government? At least that next year it shouldn't have been or before the rainy season ends. Could you please say an into my view? Thank you, my name is Sam Buell. Concerning the floor issue, the floor issue is a normal phenomenon. So, what I want for the government to do, after the rain season, all of the horses, all those who build on the drainage, government should pay them off. And then, clear those horses from the drainage and make sure, open all of the drainage. All of the open all of the generation for the water to get way to pass. But all the generation have been clocked. Two people have been on all of the generation. Now, if you want to go break the whole time, oh, you know, I have nowhere to go. I have nowhere to go. But when the rainfall at the rain intensify, just imagine rain would not fall for one day. When will when rain fall for more than two days? When will be gone? People, people, horses will be gone more flooded so my only recommendation to the government is after the ring cc government should be able to uh, clean all of the judiciaries ministry of public, yeah. public where two two national housing authority they should be able to uh, recruit people recruit the youth for everybody to get on their feet and bring out and go and bring those logistics to so people to do a cleanup campaign in all of the villages in such a world and coming to close their eyes all of the horses that all those who build on those villages that build on alley make sure make sure that those horses have been relocated all of the horses that are on the village should be relocated now my recommendation to the government relocated to where like some of the businesses meaning especially this free port side okay thank you we have a lot of businesses okay, yeah a lot of businesses so all of the horses are down there government should want to work to meet the owner of the horses the owner of the property and then negotiate with them after they negotiate with them and compensate them for the sake of the country, we cannot continue to live in the capital, the road leading to the capital city. For every time we fall, there can be a heavy water that can that can stop free, free, free flow of traffic. And that's what will be there. So government you must have the courage to be able to uh, govern our panel, to talk to other international panel, to compensate government, to, to generate fall. That will be able to uh, pay those people that get those property on, on the village and make sure their property should be demolished and then from there and build their high class villages and for the water to flow. So our people can be free, free from flood. Okay, thank you for talking to us. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Uh, thank you very much. I will have introduction. I'm Jim Akusa. Voila, this is 16. So the issue of flooding at the free port is due to a finish problem. I can remember as a child coming up, being uh, my youthful age, the late president Samuel Kudu appealed uh, to the German government, I can remember the sense of um, to do a feasibility studies. And that feasibility study was done, and we're only waiting for the construction of the drainage that were given passage to the going of water to wherever it was gone. But due to the civil practice that initiated was thwarted. In order for the free port to be saved, the national government can have the heart and the mind because she's the only one that can help the citizen, 
the citizen or of whom they're not because it's a huge project that is very costly and only national government can do. When we say the government should have a heart, they should be prepared that all those houses, business centers, uh, have been built on the demarcation of the drainage. To be bust down, there should be no fear. Or else, every year, that problem will occur. And we have ourselves to be blamed. People build on the villages and there is no passage of the water. So once the water do not have a passage, they will come together in a second plan that what we're experiencing. So the national government through the city corporation and the public work ministry will have a heart and put our feet on the ground to help the citizens. Why should foreigners and aliens be helped? And the citizens are in their own country facing problems. If you look at our whole area, it's a lowland area with a lot of swamp. So you have to open the drainage in order to allow the water to go. Once the water do not have a way to go out, they will plug to a certain place and that's what we are experiencing. So I'm appealing as a citizen to our national government to help us or as the citizens will always blame the government for poor road construction. Thank you very much. Thank you for talking to us. Uh, small people get a free ticket. You know, <clears throat> we are can be the cause for this problem. And normally we can always be government and the government, government responsible for that. But when it happens, we start, oh, we need food, getting sick, this and that. But we are saying the cost. You know that the pay is the day. But being that the pay is cheap and you want to be in the city, you say, let me be here so I can be here. And uh, uh, being a no cab be here so I can be here so I can be here. When the water come, the water can know where to go. And some of some, the some people, no drinking be there. They get down for drinking, they just want to be so they can be there. And water can, where, where, where you expect the water to go? One, come on, example. One people went to my house with my kid. They bring to me say, but they play again, they play, they play as a one. They play a bush all the way back. You know. They say a bush. I say that I play a lot. But you live in where you have to call it road in the water. They say, yeah, I want to live. I love to be in the water part to kind the bush. I say, I go live in the water. You know, so normally we are doing we can be the cause of the problem. And when if the parent can then say, oh, this and that. But normally, you see, go for a road. You know, take the whole play and they made up a decent. But where you push the water, they put in the water. Go uh, 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 borrow road, go on the road. You will see, go question the water, bend the water. If you took, go there in the water, where the other water going? And going back to go and I get it. Uh -huh. So thank you. The one thing the APA can do is that uh, they get a law, a standard law for so and so zoom. No building there. Standard law. That one thing you have. I think we have a law that you cannot build. The micro is not for sale. It's actually a government. No one is allowed to build there. But yet people are still buying. But we are holding on a law. But we are not putting a, a force. Because the swamp area not for not for a government. I mean, not for individual. The swamp area for government. But the government can say now, nah, some are be there. The, the, the swamp area not for human self for government. And see, but the land seller can sell the swamp, including the dry land. They didn't get done, no law. But if government going to hold that, I think going to have the citizen. Okay, thank you so much for talking to us. Okay, okay I'm sorry. Let's talk Harris. Uh, let me have a boss, the mini bosses. They finish it, or uh, they flood parent. They are all each parent as well. Government comes, government go, the parent will be seen. I am a boss, the mini bosses, they just, it's part of what I can say is going to do, but probably at that best of government, government officials are missing their floor parent, and they're passing here and then they are not thinking about starting the parent. My own recommendation is that what government will do is that government will negotiate 
uh, with no horses, no properties, who knows that black in the waterway. You know what I'm When negotiate with them, after negotiate, they come to an agreement of understanding that this help us to make way for water to pass the bridge to finish. Okay? All breaches. When they agree, government pay the difference for making the open the corridor for the water to go in the Sussex Creek and other areas where they will direct the water. So when government do that, then of course there will be no flood in the blood. And besides that, my advice to future government, every present government that whenever they are being raised, they should always take villages in consideration. The reason of this problem is that because when the law are built, all take villages in consideration. If villages take in consideration, you will not have floor and things. Besides the road leading from Ita to Vata, all the people who understood that the few times the heavy rain that fell caused a whole lot of floor and things. And government of future government is seeing those things happen and they're not thinking how to solve the problem. They will wait until the water sees that everything dry on. They continue using it. Tomorrow, the water is very poor tomorrow. The city power creates. So I'm seeing that government should start solving the problem now to avoid flood tomorrow. Are you getting me? To avoid flood tomorrow. So when that happens, it will be okay for us. The librarians will be for the government, it will be, it will be good that the future generation will come and know that people who were here before they come and replace them, they are done something to make them easier for them. So thank you very much, Professor Harris. Thank you for talking to us.